could answer the phone a little nicer for your mother. I actually, I called to tell you I have a pimple on my chin because I've been worrying about you so much. I just was calling to see, you know, how it's working out at your aunt's place. Peachy. Well, I know it is not your style. Early American Museum. There is a lot of family history on those walls. I know, I get it. Lots of old stuff. Well, at least you have a roof over your head, Jesse. I mean, what crazy luck that Aunt Carol had to work in Pittsburgh for a month. Otherwise, I don't know where. I know. I know. I'm just. I'm grateful that somebody cares. That you care. I need a favor. A date. Seriously? Seriously, yes. I was talking with my friend Laura, and her kid Robbie is on the rebound too. And, and Laura says that Robbie loves great food, and you're a great cook. When I have somebody to cook for, yes, this is someone that you can cook for. Come on, it's one date, honey, and I promised Laura. Well, I didn't. Well, that's okay. It's one date, and. I hear that Robbie has a really great ass and everybody loves a really full, plump, nice. Okay, just dinner and I'm out of there. Great. Okay, super. Hey, Mom, you needed something? Well, actually, I have a favor to ask. Sure. Okay. What is it? Well, it's a date. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to find you a straight man. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. I can find my own man. Thank you. I feel the same way. That's just it. Yeah. I promised Jeannie. Mom. It's all set, then? Jesse loves to cook. And you love to eat. I can find my own dates. Last thing I need is your help to... Well, what a man. Of course. But since Francis, there hasn't been one word about anyone else. So, it's my life. Jesse's on the rebound, too. Well, he was a really hard letdown. And yours wasn't any better, son. Half of Winnie's is just showing up. You need to show up.
Christ, Mother. I'm Jesse. Don't tell me you're Robbie. Uh, okay. Who should I be? I don't know. Um, come in, please. Sure, thanks. Uh, have a seat, please. Sure. Um, can I get you something to drink? Um, we've got tequila and, uh, tequila. Um, margarita? Salt on the rim? Uh... <laughs> Do you have any lime juice or a lot more limes? Maybe. Is that what this is for? Diluting tequila? <laughs> glasses? Uh, wine glasses? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I see you already have salt. How about a shaker? Tall glass, something to cover the top? There's more. What is this? Foie gras. Goose livers? Duck, actually. The figs are perfect with it. Mm. Triple sex? Sex? No, I mean triple sec. <laughs> Or maybe some sugar. Perfect. Thanks. Sorry, boy, this is not for you. That one looks pretty tasty. Thanks. Which vinaigrette? This one looks good. Good choice. Actually, can I just use the oil and do you have any lemons? Oil. Sure. Can I use your restroom? Oh uh, yeah, to your right. So how's it going? Why are you calling me? Jesse has tits. Real ones. No way. Really? How, how is that possible? I... Just be careful with her. I know she's on the rebound. Be gentle. Her? Son, she, he, whatever is really on the rebound. She needs a friend. And so do you. You owe me for this. Big time. Try to have fun with her. Here she's really nice. Good night, Mom. Good night, son.
You'll have to show me how you made those. Sure, I'm up for another round. <laughs> so, your mom, she, uh... Um, yeah, set this up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I... This is nice, thanks. Mothers. You're welcome. Yeah, last week my mom made me sit through Magic Mike. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. Oh. My God. What? You walk on the other side. What? You're gay. Of course I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I know Robbie, you're on the okay. rebound. My mother... Robbie, mothers. Robbie, it's okay. Lori, she's gonna kill me. I'm on me. the rebound from my girlfriend, Brenda. Brenda? <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Right here and now, we are hatching a spectacular plot for revenge. The dish best served cold. <laughs> Unlike beef. Hold that thought. Or not. Interested in a career change? <laughs> Why do you have an old speculum in your cabinet? This is my aunt's house, so thought I'd make it a little my own. <laughs> I've been up the room a little bit. Mm -hmm. Certainly accomplishes that. My grandfather was a lady business doctor. Interesting heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> See, it hasn't thrown you off your feed. Practically orgasmic. I'm guessing each bite's about a thousand sit-ups. Probably. They're worth every one. Well, we finished with the foreplay. Oh. Grass-fed beef medallions with a heavy cheese risotto. Hmm. And baby carrots and butter and brown sugar. Oh my. Bye-bye, fellas. Abs. Six-pack. Oh, yeah. Mm. I love good food. Like, it's as good as sex. Coming up with the recipes and finding the ingredients, ugh, and making it. Eating it. <laughs> Hard to keep a girlish figure and live with me. If you fed her like this, why on earth would she ever leave? is like sex. Yeah. That's not sex. She was happy just to eat foie gras and um... And you wanted a more versatile menu? Something like that. You all right? Sorry. I wanted her so bad. She didn't feel the same way, so. Ugh, that's the hardest. <laughs> yeah. turn. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him making out with the pool boy. Ugh, so cliche. You'd have wanted something more original, like, uh, what's original anymore? It doesn't matter. It was my fault. How so? Got distracted. Took him for granted. And when the thing happened, I just couldn't look at him the same way. Not sleeping with you, sleeping with someone else. It's the same. Yeah, I guess so. Not paying attention, probably just as bad. It's, it's a shame, shame you're not a, a man. Some wine would be perfect right about now. Ah, yes. <laughs> Hold that thought.
How about this? Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> where, where? It's been here the whole time? You just... <laughs> Come on, open that thing. <laughs>